Hi, this is John Pettigrew here with another Talking Through My Hat video. Um, today I want to talk a little bit about the publishing industry. It's where I've spent 20 years of my professional life and I've spent most of my life reading books, learning from books and it, it's a, something I believe deeply in. It's a really important part of our culture, an important part of my life and I know for a lot of people out there it's really important to who you are and how you spend your time. And all of these books are created by what we loosely call the publishing industry, from authors through the companies and the organisations that help them perfect their books and get them out, and to the people who sell them, to the people who buy them. But for different types of books, it can look very different, and the different we read them for different purposes at different times. And over the past couple of decades, we've kind of come to realise that publishing isn't a monolithic industry as we used to think of it, but it's a whole group of related industries. Um, from you know, academic monographs through to erotic fiction and kind of everything in between that necess don't necessarily share an awful lot of common ground although it might seem intuitively that they do they, they, that they're producing content that is used for different purposes by different people, that's bought in different ways from different places um, and it, it can be quite variable so what is this industry? what is this book industry that we kind of devote so much time and effort to? And it may not be a terribly startling description of it, but it seems to me that publishing can be best described as the process of getting ideas and stories to readers through the written word. And it, it, it's the, that's the key to it. There are other, other industries that deal in ideas or in stories, but it's book publishing that deals with a written word to do these things. You know, we, in contrast to television or radio or theatre or music and so forth. It, it, this is the kind of the key to it. And what that suggests to me is that there are certain roles in that process that are unique to book publishing and therefore special and have to be guarded and focused on if it's something we're going to, if we're going to succeed as an industry and continue to be relevant to culture and to our to our lives and the role in particular it seems to me that is crucial is the role of the editor many people go for the author first um, and in fiction writing in novels the author is often usually the person who is coming up with the idea, coming up with the story, and creating almost all of it before it goes any further. But even for there, an editor is generally involved in making it the best it can be. And for most of the rest of the industry, a lot of this content starts with the editor, with a commissioner who says, what should we be publishing? And we'll go out and find somebody to write it for education, for non-fiction stuff, a lot of these things. And once you've got, even once it's written, desk editors, copy editors, and all the kind of jobs that are involved in making that content the best it can be, and making it be relevant, and making it be correct, um, are really, really important to the enjoyment and the use of the end product. Now, that it might be all very well, but the reason it's really important to me is that we see a lot of publishing companies these days worrying about what it means to be a publisher, how are they going to be successful, and under a lot of pressure to cut cost because it's a mature market and sales aren't growing and so on, and all the competition and so forth. And what it disturbs me to see is companies trying to save money by cutting editorial and production, but particularly editorial because that's the unique job. If you are trying to run a publishing company where your editorial is outsourced, your writing is outsourced, your production is outsourced, what are you? You aren't a publisher anymore because all you're doing is taking something that someone else has made and selling it. And that seems wrong to me if you want to be a successful publisher. You need to be focusing on your editorial uh, to get that right, to have a unique message, a unique voice, a strong signal to customers why they should come to you, why should they trust you, and why should they give you their money ultimately for whatever experience it is they're trying to get out of it. So that's my thought for today. If you've enjoyed it please click the like button underneath and uh, subscribe to this channel to get more of me talking through my hat. See you again another time. Thanks.